activity, you're going to program Zoomy to simulate social distancing. Right now, to prevent the spread of coronavirus or COVID-19, people are being asked to stay about six feet away from each other. That's the average distance that respiratory droplets travel before they settle and are much less likely to be inhaled by other people. Since this is just a simulation, you're going to program Zoomy to stay six inches away from obstacles instead, and you'll be using her infrared or IR sensors to do this. So the first thing that you're going to go ahead and do is import the Zoomy library and create the Zoomy object. Now, this code is going to run in a loop, so next you're going to initialize a for loop. We are using a for loop because you need to read the four IR sensors over and over and over again. Now a thousand seems like a lot, but remember that computers count much faster than humans, so it will go by quickly. So now you're going to read the, all the IR sensors and save it in a variable IR readings. Now, we only really care about the front and the back IR sensors for this activity. So there's going to be four variables to hold the front right, front left, back right, and back left IR sensors. If you forget any of the indices, go ahead and check the lesson on IR sensors. Now it's time to make some decisions. Remember that there is an IR threshold for detecting if light is reflecting off. So if the front right IR sensor is less than 100 or the front left IR sensor is less than 100, Zoomy should go in reverse. Here I'm changing the duration to half a second so that it moves a little bit faster. And then we also have to check the back right IR and back left IR. If either of those are less than 100, then we should probably move forward. You can change the speed here to 100, but you don't have to. And then you can go ahead and test. 